Welcome back. Member for Mulbaya, Kwe Chape, along with his district administration staff, today presented the 2015 DSIP acquittals for the district to the Department of Implementation and Rural Development. Mr. Chape praised the government's incentive of providing 10 million kina direct funding to districts, which he says has made a huge difference in his area. He further invited officers from the Department of Implementation and Rural Development to visit Mulbaya to confirm the development stated in the acquittal books. Jay Habakia reports. The acquittals of district services improvement program funds is a requirement placed by the government to ensure funds provided to districts are disbursed in a transparent and accountable manner. The Department of Implementation and Rural Development is the government agency responsible for ensuring all districts follow these guidelines. The Mulbaya District of the Western Highlands Province presented their 2015 acquittals this afternoon with the local MP praising the DSIP concept. He said this is a good government policy and if it continues for the next few years, Mr. Trappe believes there will be many changes throughout the country. I see, you know, the 10 million kina is... is is, is a, it, 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 it is a good start. That is a good policy. And uh, if, if that continues for next how many years, you can see that the district will change. And uh, for, for Mumbai, you know, you, we, we have used that money wisely and uh, and you can see a lot of changes, you know, we build. you can see a lot of uh, developments taking place. Bridges, all the departments, you know, all, all the sectors. Uh, bridges, the roads, it's, it's a road is very, very important. And uh, the health sector, and uh, uh, law and order. DIRD's Deputy Secretary for Operations, Stephen Rambes, said acquittals are in place to ensure taxpayers' money is spent in the right areas and the people benefit. He said the small development projects done at the district levels contribute to the government's overall agenda of developing the country and its citizens. Districts like yourselves who have acquitted, those are the ones we are focusing on. Okay. Uh, because those are the basis that we do our free trips. Otherwise, why should we just go in, uh, to, uh, to a district uh, which so no uh, and I have not submitted the acquittals and this sort of thing? So, uh. The MP said he has done a lot with these government funds for his people and further invited the IRD officers to visit his district to prove the developments mentioned in the acquittal books are not just paper talk. It's, it's not good. You can see on the papers here, but it is fiscally you yourself can go and see what the actual uh, development is taking place. Huh? Using the SIP funds over the last year, the MP has built a new district hospital, police houses and extended the road network all the way to Kompiam in the Anger province. Jaheb Akia, NBC National News, Port Mosby. The National Alliance Party is being re-established in West New Britain after being non-existent for the last five years. The party disbanded after the, after the political impasse in 2011 when the National Alliance members left the party and teamed up with others. Dokis Tindri reports from Kimbe. So that's the team. The National Alliance this year revived itself to prepare for the 2017 national elections. Though not being active for the last five years, its new executives are striving to have the party remain alive in the province. I realize that the National Alliance Party support the West Britain has been start. It's just that uh, we need to all uh, people to take the lead in uh, bringing this party forward. Which uh, we have a group of us, including Plenty of Land, we decided to come around together and talk about party, uh, the National Alliance, its policies, its drive. As an institution, we like decided to re-establish the province. New party executives and awareness have been formally announced to prepare for the party's launch at the end of the month. Talks about go out long all all supporters of the National Alliance Party, actually, especially the West Indian province, and we play as the police. We play a couple of Facebook account. We have um, we have a, a wall that uh, created on social media. Um, 
we have a web page where a lot of, a lot of information in regards to a party policy to constitution is not something we have to look forward and you can find it out on Islam. Dorcas Tindry, NBC National News, Kimbe. The Institute of Business Studies today staged the 2016 PNG Information Communication Technology or ECT Expo concurrently with the launching of their new website. IBS Executive Director Edward Silva said Papua New Guinea has a responsibility to make information technology meet world standards. He said the expo is to inform IT specialists in the country, including students, to be a member of the PNG Computer Society. Jacqueline Yala reports. Information has become digitalized in the world. Thus, Papua New Guinea has a responsibility to meet the international IT standard. So therefore, the PNG Computer Society has a huge responsibility to take the PNG into the same technology in the, with the rest of the world. So that is what the PNG Computer Society's responsibility is. The PNG Computer Society is among the computer societies in the world. In this year's ICT Expo, six companies took part to empower Papua New Guineans to tap into the digitalized world. IT students are an important part of this as they are the future leaders in information technology. So it is important for students to become members so that grow them, for them to grow from the bottom up. So then they become a real solid members of the PNG Computer Society. They will represent the country. They, there are so many things happening, even the P computer competitions happening in the world. Countries are competing now. The PNG also need to go and compete them. Hundreds of students from the Institute of Business Study attended the expo. IT specialists and students were urged to apply for PNG Computer Society membership. This is to allow them to compete with the IT specialists around the world. Jacqueline Yala, NBC National News, Port Mosby. Stay with us on NBC National News.